My name is Miriam Mutebi, and I'm a breast surgical oncologist and assistant professor in the Department of Surgery at the Aga Khan University Hospital in Nairobi. I'm also a clinical epidemiologist and health systems researcher, and my uh, research focus is on understanding barriers to access for women who have cancers in East Africa and designing interventions that talk to those barriers. In terms of looking at the um, major barriers that are affecting our women in sub-Saharan Africa, uh, we see a constellation of three major factors that um, sort of go hand in hand. One of these is um, the big sort of overhanging one that um, we know is the uh, financial aspects uh, where patients frequently have to pay out of pocket for their cancer care. And, you know, some of the uh, governments in sub-Saharan Africa try to mitigate these by having um, national hospital insurance funds, like in Kenya, for instance. But again, still a significant amount of, um, of uh, the cost is borne by the patient. And so there, unfortunately, this does act like a barrier. The other um, second big hurdle that our, our patients face is, um, again, health system barriers. And uh, this is uh, sometimes due to either uh, poor referral pathways or dysfunctional systems where patients may repeatedly engage um, with the health system, but only get a definitive diagnosis, maybe three or four um, clinicians in. And sometimes um, because patients are also having to pay out of pocket, perhaps for their diagnostic ability, um, maybe take a biopsy and they need to pay for the um, processing of the specimens, those can cause further delays. But I think a significant uh, bit of the uh, barriers that perhaps that we don't uh, talk frequently about are the social cultural barriers around um around breast cancer. This runs the gamut from misconceptions around uh, breast cancer, um, social cultural barriers, including um, the fact that in many parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, women are not the primary determinants of their health-seeking behavior. And as such, uh, in some cases, they either need to seek either permission uh, or financial support uh, from a uh, partner or a spouse in order to access this care.